Hello and welcome to our engine autopsy. The reason we are taking this engine apart is because it was making this noise. This isn't going to be an in-depth how to disassemble your engine and how to put it back together again. This is, we are taking this engine apart to see why it was making that noise and why it failed. So, let's get started. Gonna take off crankshaft pulley, covers, timing belt, etc. Flip it over, manifold, sump, etc, etc, heads, pistons out, so on and so forth. So let's get started. Gently, gently, here we go. One crank pulley. Right, well, let's just rattle the rest of them. He's off. That should let us take off the timing covers. Oh. That's a leaky pipe that you may have seen in another video or on Facebook. That one leaked out there and it goes down through in there and across the top of the engine. Oh, really horrible design. Oh, missed one. Who am I missing? Nobody. There we go. There is the timing system of a Subaru EG engine. Look at the length of that timing belt. <whistles> so, let's uh, get this belt off. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. There we go. Much easier move, you just cut the belt. Yeah, it's just supposed to take that off. Right, the world's longest timing belt. Only you, Drew, you can get the bin. A bit of a noise, that one. The old, uh, that one's alright, the tensioner's. The tensioner's okay. Water pump. Or is that on the waterboard? No, it's an idler. Wow, they're all really loud. And there's a bumblebee. Right, okay. I'm not a flower bumblebee. Go away. Go away. There's a very small bumblebee trying to fly out my trousers legs now. There he is. Go on. Shh. Shoo. Right, well, as well just start stripping everything off this engine. Right, let's spin this around and see what falls out, or falls off. If this falls off the engine stand, this will be YouTube gold. Right, what's first? Man, exhaust manifold. These look like I'm gonna need long sockets. Now, this is where I find out that, no, 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 he's actually done a fairly decent job of removing this. Uh, one. Super manifold. Oh, by yeah, that's heavy. It's nice and black inside. I mean, nice and black. I don't mean like. There's nothing untoward looking. Right, that leaves a perimeter of tens. Do you think they're tens? <laughs> One oil pan off. Hmm. Well, we a rag now. Right, we've got debris. Is it metal debris? It is. Will I even focus? Gold, well, not gold, but shiny copper coloured debris. Where could that have been from? Definitely copper coloured. So, copper like copper washer, something else. Almost made it through the sieve. What else have we got in here? Any chunks? I said that if there's any chunks, we're going to be in the bottom of the sump. Mm. 
I'm also looking to see if the oil is shiny. There's any, you know, very fine metal particles in the oil. There doesn't appear to be. Usually you can see them like sparkling in the sunshine, like it's like it's almost full of glitter. But this does not appear to be the case. Which is good. Alright, let's take the pickup off. Now we get to see into the bottom. Can't reach that one. Could of course spin it around and have a, a listen and a look. No, you can't really get in that one. But it doesn't look terrible. There's nothing blazingly obvious, which is kind of what you'd expect. Okay, well that's um on the cylinder heads in. Right, that's the bolts for the rocker cover off. Uh, I'll just take this off just now while I'm here. It gets out of the way. The oil fill spout funnel, what do you want to call it? I want to call it in the way. Now, will this come off without any? It totally did. Put a shot in there. That looks really nice and clean, actually. So does the inside of the head. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just see you there. Somebody might need a rocker cover, but oh, right. Peel the gasket off. Now nah, I'll just leave it alone. Let's give a cams a feel. No. No scoring. They all feel nice and smooth. There's still puddles of oil in there. But they'll absolutely fall out as soon as we turn the engine up upside down again. Right. How tight do you think these are going to be? How tight do you think they should have been? All right, no doubt this is where I find out it would have been advantageous to remove the cam pulleys first while the camshafts are still attached. But we are not that person. So we will do it the hard way. No. Fucking hell, that was tight. Like, can I get my socket back, please? Holy shit, boys. Should I? Oh, that might be handy. Keep that. The camshaft position sensor. That, that bearing's really in there. Not anymore. Oh, good. I don't have to mark the camshaft. They absolutely say L E. Can you see that? Am I even shot? L E X. Left hand exhaust. I need a new bit of mat. It's just that good a fit. Okay, that one says L in, which is nice. All right, let me wipe my hands and pull the camera back in a bit. So here we have the bucket over shim. <laughs> well, no shims, because there's no shims. It's bucket over you know, thing. Anyway, that's your camshaft right on top of that, which pushes down on the valve inside. 
So there are eight of these, obviously, two in, two out. And now it's just a matter of undoing these great big fuckers here. And somewhere I need, I do have the spline. Or, or not. Gold bar time again. No matter. We'll uh, right, do it towards you and then you can lean against the engine stand when it tries to escape. Ah, fuels. That's the wrong way, David. That's righty tighty. You have to hold on to. One. This is the one from the exhaust side. Looks all right. This is the one from the intake side. Look at that. Rusty as fuck. Hmm. Only a middle one. The rest of them, all right. Right, did I did I finish on tightening that one? No. That's better. Yeah. So apart from that one, which is rusty, all the rest of them nice and shiny. Now, there should be nothing else holding this on. So I'm going to go to a slightly bigger lever and lift this off. It should be pretty much separated. Right, piss off gasket. Oh, here we go. I want to turn it over, but I'll also try not to pour oil everywhere. If I can pour it down the way. Ah, oh, that's it, in my hand. Ideal. Sit. Nice. Whoa. So, what can we see on the head? Absolutely nothing obvious. Don't worry, all the buckets are slowly falling out. Right, we will look at the head on the drift bench. Later. Oh, I'm just going to sit over there. Let's just take this gasket off and throw it away. What can we see? We can see that this is... An open deck block. You can see it's a big open passage around all the cylinder walls. On a semi-closed deck, you're just left with, I think it's four four holes and the rest are solid. And then there's a closed, oh right, or as a semi-closed deck, it's joined there and there and there and there as well. And then a closed deck, it's just a few holes round about them, which is obviously the strongest one. Okay, we're just about to take the other head off. And I'd like to say this side was much easier to come off than the other one because I knew what I was doing. That would be a lie. It was still just as much as a fight. I have noticed this one isn't rusty where the other one was. These are all nice and shiny. Not rusty like the last one. Oh, let me just set these all down here. There, right. Two more. One, two. Okay, and we are pretty much ready to pop this head as well. Are we? <gasps> no! It's... Wait, can you see over there? Oh, see over, over, over in this direction, there's a mount for the exhaust which attaches the head to the rest of the crank. Uh, what size are they? Fourteens! Hallelujah! Let me just melt these off. <laughs> that bracket. Right, now, now we're ready to split the head, are we? Are they all, that's it, oh, yeah. 
Pardon me, kick the camera. Okay, this should now just lift off. Like the other side, and piss oil ev everywhere. Yep, so that's, uh, this head is off. I'll put it on the drift bench for inspection. Well, I'll have to say there's not a lot to see on this side either. Need to get rid of this. This is attached in too many places on the... Oh no, it's just got one and it'll fall off, hopefully. Okay. Right, so that's kind of part A of this three-part engine thing. Disassembly. Autopsy! That's the word I was looking for. Autopsy. The two cylinder heads off. We've got the sump off. You can't see it's down there. And the manifold off. Next stage is going through all the access holes and trying to get the pistons out that way so we can split the engine right down the middle, right there. It's got bolts going that way and some going the other way inside. And then that comes into two parts and that gets us, lets us see the crankshaft and the con rods, etc, etc. So, that'll be part two. Thanks for watching guys.